In this video, I'll show you how to horizontally shift a sinusoidal function in the format y is equal to a sine b bracket x minus c plus d. What's different about this video from the previous is that I'm using a common template, whereas before I was using a different template. So this template is something that you'll likely see in most textbooks. The question here asks, sketch the graph for the following sinusoidal functions. We have f at x is equal to sine bracket x minus 90 degrees, and we have f at x is equal to sine x plus 180 degrees. I want to compare this function as a whole to this template. You'll notice that this function has an a value of 1. In addition, the b for this function has to be 1, because if it were 0, this whole thing would go to 0. Your c value here is 90. I know it looks like negative 90, but it really isn't. I'll show you why in a second. And our d value is equal to 0. So we are trying to figure out what happens when we manipulate c. In our case, the c is 90 instead of negative 90 because this can be rewritten as x minus plus c. So in our case here, we can rewrite this as x minus plus 90. And that's how you define the c value. The c value in this function, on the other hand, is negative 180. Why? Because remember, this has to model this template, and this template has x minus c. So in this case here, you would have to rewrite it as x minus negative 180. So this would serve as your c value. Let's go ahead and plot what sine looks like as a normal function f at x is equal to sine x. And that looks like this. And of course, this should be familiar to you by now. If you have drawn it correctly, it should look like that. So in our case, for this first function, which I'll show in red, your c value is 90 degrees. And what that means and what that does is it actually will translate the wave to the right by 90 degrees. This is known as a horizontal shift. So each one of these points will be pushed to the right by 90 degrees. This point right here, which currently has an x value of 0 and a y value of 0, becomes 90 and 0. So our new point is here. This point, which was at 90, goes to 180. And this one gets pushed over. And you end up with a wave that looks like this. Therefore, having a positive c value will make the function shift horizontally to the right. The opposite is true when you have a negative c value. In our case here, the c value is negative 180 degrees. And what this does is it will actually push the wave function to the left by 180 degrees. This point becomes negative 180. This point becomes negative 90. This point, which was at 180, becomes 0 and 0. And you can start to see it form. If you've done this correctly, it should start to look like this, what you see in purple. The take home message here, if you ever have a sine or even cosine function like you do here, if this part is x minus 90, the wave will move to the right. If it's x plus an angle, then it's going to move to the left. But if you're asked to define your c, you have to define it the way I have. Where in this case, it looks like minus 90, but according to the template, it's plus 90. And this one looks like plus 180, but according to the template, it looks like negative 180. So there you have it. That is how to horizontally shift a sinusoidal function.